tier FX. Coming at you 29 April. Almost end of the month here. Tricky, tricky day on Friday. Let's take a look at what happened and what we think is going to happen here uh, at the open. Uh, GDP obviously came out. Headline was much stronger, but the makeup of the number looked a bit puzzling. Higher inventories created the higher GDP number. The trade numbers looked very weak. So we had initial dollar buying and then initial then dollar selling. For the euro, we just kind of ended up where we started. Uh, so we we opened at 31, we closed at 40. We're up at 58 now. We printed that 74 high, which was basically five ticks below the 79 break and the previous low, which was 77. This is now going to be a little pivot area. I don't think this is going to get above 95, but we have to be careful now because month-end flows uh, are going to dominate, and you just never really know uh, how that's going to work on any given flow situation, so be real careful 5 p.m. today and tomorrow. Dollar Swiss looks a little more puzzling. Um, that was a bearish day on uh, on Friday. Now we have a number of tails up there. Y you could easily start thinking about getting short dollar Swiss if we make a new low today, which is not far away. 101.84. We put some uh, initial work into some dollar shorts late. Uh, you know, after the GDP and we saw the reversal, we're working what I would call a quiet dollar Swiss short uh, as we ended up reducing risk dramatically on Friday just because things became a little bit confusing. One of the main reasons it was confusing is crude. Uh, crude drop 2.5%, 3% from 65.13 down to 62.30 through all kinds of support. The 200 day is 61.09. Um, not that we were long crude or anything, but we did get short stocks. So we sold NASDAQ because of this bearish engulfing. And then NASDAQ just looked very bid. I mean, at first we looked very, very off for down to 77.58. But then all of a sudden we just looked pretty darn big, back up to 78, 30, 40. So we ended up cutting our stocks, which was a shame because um, it looked like the story was coming together. Crude's getting crushed. Uh, some funny numbers out of the U.S. But price did not collaborate, so he had to wait for price to collaborate. Yes, same thing put in a lot of work down at uh, 2921 as you can see you know Thursday we hit the 16 low but we were bang 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 at 2921 and then we just floated higher uh, towards the close and we ended up with quite I would say a bullish close so now we are just waiting again uh, as ever for the straw to break the camel's back who knows what it's going to be. Could be Chinese PMI this week. Could be non-farms. Could be FOMC. Um, Powell has a press conference that will be watched very closely on Wednesday. A lot of data coming out this week, so let's be on our toes for that. But back to currencies, uh, dollar-yen. This looks uh, probably the most interesting Unfortunately, it's a weekly bar, so those are incredibly hard to trade. Uh, and if you are short dollar yen, technically your stop has to be above 12, 41240, which gives you a very sort of upside down risk reward. So it's not ultimately tradable at this point. What we're going to have to do is wait for dollar yen to break uh, the lows on from last week which is 111.40 we printed down there twice um, 
we printed down there on Thursday and then again on Friday. Um, Friday's low was 42.8, Thursday's low was 36.4, but right around there, that 40 area. Um, when we're down there, we want to take a look at what the story is, if we're going to get some sort of follow through. Um, but that weekly bar here, this bearish engulfing weekly bar, gives you more confidence on the left hand side. So we keep an eye on that. We talked about it a little bit on Friday. Short Euro Yen looks like it's just a lot easier than short Euro Dollar. Um, if Euro Dollar does squeeze, Dollar Yen is likely to go lower or at least a little bit lower. So, core short Euro Yen uh, is still in the books here. Um, we will be selling high ones today. We're using this big red bar here as sort of our lines in the sand. We don't think this is going to get above 125.25. So today we'll be selling 75s, probably 95s. Uh, playing that core short like we have been. But when we say playing core short it means you're you're buying low ones on this and then reselling high ones. Um, no reason to think this is going to break 123.60 today. Uh, there's plenty of reason to think it's going to break eventually. Just look at the chart. Um, so core short euro yen looks pretty decent. Sterling yen floated higher, but just want to point this chart out. This has like CTA bullseyes written all over it. 143.73. Keep it in mind. There's money to be made down there. Aussie has turned. So we talked about it. Friday this bar looked incredibly odd for something that's supposed to be going down. Then we made higher highs. Now we're going to, you know, we haven't quite made a higher high yet, but it looks like it's a possibility. Um, I don't think Aussie's going to run away, uh, but if you're playing on the short side, you might as well just wait. So today you might want to sell between 90 and 20 on the top side and just be a little bit more cautious on this. This doji, it's a classic uh, and caught everybody looking the wrong way. So it's even a, more of a classic. You see a classic turn bar and everyone's looking left. Be careful. Dollar cat also back lower. Nothing really to say there. Back in the range. Um... I think we'll just leave it at that. Waiting for the next trigger. I don't know um, what's going to trigger it. It could be PMI, which comes out um, very late tonight. Today we have uh, Eurozone Confidence, not super important. Personal Income and Spending, and US PCE. PCE is not bad because it gives us a bit of an inflation uh, idea. And then we got loads of earnings still, We're still in earnings season. Um, I'll uh, cut and paste that and chuck it on Twitter, but you can see it from any of the number of the other guys who are out on Twitter. Um, just got to watch these earnings and see how it affects the stock market. All right, that's enough for today. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Make, make some dough today. I will uh, catch you tomorrow. Ciao.